Right guys, we're going to talk about samurai going to the toilet. Let me read you a quote from this book. This is How to Be a Modern Samurai. Um, a samurai in ancient days said the following. When you build a toilet, build it high enough so that samurai can use it while they have their personal banners on their backs. And remember, they are also wearing large crested helmets and allow room for their swords as they turn around. I've put that at the step four, building a fortress, because it shows about just the practicalities. But this brings on to the question of how do samurai actually go to the toilet? Now, this video was suggested to me by Black Eagle, who was a commentator here, and I think he wasn't being serious. I think he was trying to take the mic because I noticed, I think it's his comments that are usually quite horrible. So, but actually it's a good point. So there's a big problem. So samurai going to the toilet. Number one is uh, they obviously, what does the samurai toilet look like? I haven't really been able to find a picture of this yet. I've not looked too deeply, but it clearly says that it must be tall enough, meaning it's an, a tent, an erected tent, and it's got a big enough for banners because they're walking in and out with their banners. So imagine the queue of samurai going to the toilet, like we're doing a modern festival or something, their banners out, and there's got to be enough room to turn. So whereas now they have their mini cubicles for toilets, samurai probably had large, big tents with um you know um bamboo structures where they could sit on hold on sorry uh, bamboo structures where they could sit on and then go to the toilet but well, of course you've got to be able to move your sword but there's also another problem in many of the manuals there's a picture that of a loincloth now the loincloth very much you put it over your neck you put it round up over your bum and tie it quite tight so that means if you're wearing pants called momohiki you probably would have to take them off or down. When you're wearing just a kimono, it's like a dress kimono. It's easy, just splay it, undo the front, take your loincloth up, go to the toilet. But it means you can't, even if you have to urinate, you have to go down and take your loincloth off and then try and urinate. So actually picturing a samurai go to the toilet is not one of those things you should be doing every day. But what's curious is on a battlefield, it appears there's some sort of tent that they go to that's big enough for the, everything. But when you're actually wearing pants, which a lot of samurai did in armour, they wore pants, you're going to have to take the pants off and then undo the um, undo the loincloth. But this must all be done lower down. You mustn't be able to untie anything. It must all be separate at the bottom. Um, whereas with the larger kimono in just normal days, not. So it's a bit of a quizzical one. We have um, Japanese loincloths. Uh, you have the idea of the pants. What about hakama? You're gonna to have to take the hakama off, then the loincloth off, and there's under trousers on the on the hakama. So it's quite difficult. So guys, that's just a quick video, just for fun, just to sort of reply to one of my. I think he's one of my haters, but it's the big problem of how does samurai go to the toilet? Now I did my master's degree in archaeology. I'm my main degree in ancient history and archaeology, and did archaeology. But it's these types of questions that archaeologists ask, even though I'm doing it from a historical point of view. The questions are is how did people go to the toilet where did they go to the toilet how did they get undressed what clothes did they wear we're looking at physical things so there you go guys get yourself a copy of how to be a modern samurai and just whenever you're following the way of the samurai always remember those 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 little things that we need to understand sorry for the bright sunlight which is um exactly how did the samurai do certain things tie their shoes put go to the toilet tie their you know armor on things like that there's those little pieces of information that really bring it to life so there you go guys enjoy <laughs>